Hello, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sales executives for our video message of the week. All right, this message is entitled, Choose Happy Over Right. Now, I have to start off with a story, and the players in this story are my 12-year-old daughter and me. And we had a conversation without getting into all the specifics. It came down to a question that I asked my daughter. And I said, let me ask you something. I go, would you rather be happy or would you rather be right? And my daughter looked up, she thought about it. Then she looked at me and she says, you know, dad, I'd rather be right. See, because when I'm right, I'm happy. Well, clearly, um, some of these lessons come over a longer period of time. Today, I want to prove to you that choosing happy versus right is truly a better choice, specifically when you take into account what we do in real estate every day. So let's jump right in. I have three key points. Why choose happy? Because it makes us a better agent. What do I mean? Well, think about this. When you're out there dealing with tough situations, many times sales executives or vendor partners or clientele that just do not get it, and let's say they're wrong, the kicker is, is the better we get at dealing with that and not just focusing on right, but being happy, we are helping ourselves become a better agent. We're sharpening our skills. We're being able to be better negotiators through this that not only will help us be a better agent, but will help our career move forward in a positive direction. That's one. Second, when you choose happy over being right, see, happy takes into account long-term wins, not only short-term. See, being right, certainly, I guarantee you, there's times that you'll go, oh, that felt good. That feels really good. I'm right, and they know it. But the kicker is, is I much rather be in a situation where I got the transaction finalized, it was a win for everyone involved, and even the agent that I will tell you, I'm not a lover of, thinks that we are the best buds. Why? Because in the future, when one of my clients are presenting an offer on their listing, we're buds. I have the best possible chance now to get my client a home that they want for themselves and their family. Why? Because 19 transactions ago, I was a better negotiator. I kept my cool. I was patient. I wasn't focusing on being right, I was focusing on the outcome that everyone wanted to see happen. See, I was focused on happy. That ended up paying off not only in the short term, but in the long term. And last, but certainly not least, and I've touched on this, when you choose happy versus right, you are in direct connection with your clients. See, they're not worried about you being right, they're worried about their goals. And if they sat down and said, hmm, do I want you to have a short-term feeling that you could say you're right, or do I want you achieving my goals? Even if you have to bite your tongue sometimes and say, oh, they're not doing it right. I know I'm right, but guess what? I'm not gonna present it that way because now I can achieve what I know my clients want me to achieve. And not only today, but as I said, in the long run in the future. Listen, we all can fall into this and sometimes it does. It feels good to be right. But I promise you, in the long run, as well in the short run, happiness is a better choice. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.